You there, are you going bald? That must mean you have very high testosterone. Yo, I see that you're uh, losing some hair there. Are you sure that you don't have uh, low testosterone? Yo, why are you wearing a cap, man? Are you uh, losing your hair or something? Testosterone and hair loss. This is a hot topic of discussion that's surrounded by rumors, myths, and outright lies. But in this video, I'm gonna tell you the evidence-based truth. All right, first of all, when it comes to hair loss, all right, the hormone that we have to talk about is not actually testosterone. It's a hormone called DHT, AKA dihydrotestosterone. And this is a derivative of testosterone, which is actually the most powerful androgen in the male body with a two to three times higher potency than testosterone. Furthermore, it attaches to androgen receptors and remains attached to androgen receptors for up to five times longer than does testosterone. And anywhere in the body where the 5-alpha reductase enzyme is present, testosterone basically gets converted into DHT. And the 5-alpha reductase enzyme is present everywhere except for muscle tissue, which means that many of the benefits that we associate with having higher levels of testosterone can actually be tied back to DHT. So when it comes to hair loss, all right, researchers have found that men with thinning hair have higher levels of DHT in their scalp. As such, DHT is often the prime culprit behind male pattern baldness. So DHT is created from testosterone and bald men have high levels of DHT. So that must mean that bald men have higher levels of testosterone as well. Well, not quite, all right? Here's something to think about. The incidence of hair loss actually goes up with age aka older men have a higher incidence of losing hair but the incidence of low testosterone also goes up with age which means that older men have lower levels of testosterone so of course there's definitely something else that's going on over here so diving deeper it's revealed that there are actually two types of dht all right the first is serum dht and the second is tissue dht and the effect that DHT has on hair loss actually comes down to the type of DHT that we're gonna be talking about. So when it comes to serum DHT, which is the type that's circulating in your blood, studies have found that there's no correlation between serum DHT and hair loss. In fact, there's one study that found that men with higher levels of serum DHT actually had a lower incidence of hair loss. And second, we have tissue DHT, which is the type that attaches to the androgen receptors in your scalp, skin, and hair follicles. And when it comes to the research, studies have found that balding men have higher levels of DHT in their scalp. So yes, higher levels of tissue DHT are associated with male pattern baldness. But what's really interesting about tissue DHT is that although it causes hair loss in the head, it actually causes hair growth everywhere else. For example, on the hair follicles on your face, if you have high DHT, it causes more growth. If you have it on your chest, it causes more growth. So that is definitely a paradox, which the current state of research is unable to explain. But the bottom line is that it depends, even with tissue DHT, it depends where the androgen receptor is that it is attaching to, all right? So if it's your head, yes, it'll cause hair loss. If it's in your body, then yes, it's gonna cause hair growth or your face, all right? So at the end of the day, that is a paradox, but that is the way that it is. So at the end of the day, all right, what it really comes down to is genetics. If you're genetically prone to have a high amount of androgen receptor density in your head, then taking the steps to naturally increase your testosterone can lead to elevated DHT levels, and then elevated DHT levels lead to more of DHT attaching to the androgen receptors in your head, which can cause you to lose your hair. On the flip side, if you have a low amount of androgen receptor density in your scalp, then taking the steps to increase your testosterone can increase your DHT, but there is nothing for that DHT to attach to in your head, which means that there is no hair loss taking place, all right? And finally, DHT encourages hair growth everywhere else. So if you have a high androgen receptor density on your body, skin, and face, then taking the steps to naturally increase your testosterone can lead to higher DHT, which leads to more hair growth everywhere else, all right? And this is why people of Asian descent, for example, can't grow beards because they, no matter how high their testosterone is, no matter how high their DHT is, they don't have the androgen receptor density in their face and body. So there's nothing for those hormones to attach to and encourage hair growth, all right? 
So yeah, man, that about wraps it up. I hope that this video has provided you with the clarity and don't fall for the myth, don't fall for the hype. And if you are losing hair, who cares, man? Just go bald, look at The Rock, look at Vin Diesel, look at Jason Statham. I mean, those guys are alpha killers in the Hollywood movies, all right? So <laughs> don't worry, man. I mean, there's the other things to worry about other than your hair. I mean, maybe I am not uh, being empathetic because I am thankfully, thankfully, unthankfully not losing any hair. So maybe I can't relate to your situation and how it's affecting your self-esteem. But at the end of the day, don't attach to that, all right? Don't let your sense of self-worth be driven by the amount of hair on your head, man. There's so many other things that you can be working on, so many other things that you can depend on. So don't worry, man. You got this, all right? With all that being said, this has been Mo Salim from TripleUT.com. I hope that this video provided you with the information you were looking for. And I'll see you soon.